Medical science has shown that the skin is full of immune cells and scientists now know that this is a very effective area for the application of vaccines and other life-saving drugs. The pharmaceutical industry is waking up to the fantastic opportunity of microneedles and we're working on a new process to turn the whole concept of microneedles into a commercially viable proposition. We do this with a technology called microneedles. Now just as it sounds, they're just very, very small needles. Here's an example of microneedles that we make in our laboratory. They're made out of metal, they're pyramidal in shape, hollow with an offset bore to draw in biological fluids. To give you an example of their size, here's a penny right here. When I turn it on its side, it is 1.5 millimeters tall. These microneedles are 0.75 millimeters. You would need to stack two of these microneedles on top of each other to be as tall as this penny right now. Compare that to a traditional hypodermic needle, which penetrates deep in the muscle and is very painful. Microneedles barely pierce the stratum corneum, the outermost layer of the skin. They're so small, they don't reach nerve endings. You don't feel a thing. Microneedles were originally developed for drug delivery purposes, and they've proven to be very effective in the painless delivery of vaccines and drugs. We want to go the opposite way. We want to use them to sample biological fluids, but they don't reach blood capillaries like hypodermic needles, so we don't sample blood. We sample interstitial fluid. This is the fluid between cells in your skin. So let's think, how would a device like this affect your lives? First of all, it just makes it more convenient. If you can show up to the doctor with your results, or even better, measure yourself at home and send the results to the doctor, it saves time and it saves money. But it's more than that. Continuous health monitoring is invaluable. But, but measured simultaneously, they are fatigue markers. So there's something an athlete might use to optimize his performance. The Department of Defense wants us to use these to, to measure the performance of soldiers on the battlefield. So we have started making devices to measure multiple markers simultaneously on these microneedles. Here's an example of a device we have made. It's a microneedle fluidic chip with microneedle arrays, sensors integrated, and we use this to detect a protein called troponin, which is a cardiac marker that is released when you have a heart attack. So it's something a person with a previous history at home can slap a patch on and see if they're having another event or just stressed out.